Since Russia launched its war against Ukraine, uh, 27 European countries have agreed unanimously on 13 packages of sanctions. Um, we have been able to agree on impactful measures that hurt the Russian economy, that uh, restricts them from uh, revenues, and uh, that sends a clear message that every aggressor has to pay a price, and this price is uh, very high. We put in place sanctions on oil, so um, with few exemptions, both crude oil and refined oil products are under sanction and European companies do not buy oil from Russia. On top of that, with our G7 um, partners, we have introduced a price cap for Russian oil so that they can use uh, European vessels to transport their oil to the third countries only in case when they sell it under the market price. On gas, so far, um, our uh, member states have not agreed um, on sanctions. This demands unanimity. But energy ministers from their side agreed on a decarbonous gas package and introduced a measure that allows national governments to restrict Russian vessels, um, LNG vessels, to enter into our um, LNG terminals. This decarbonous gas package comes into force 21st of May. And on top of that, um, we also um, discuss how we can bring some elements of LNG uh, trade, um, namely uh, the um, transshipments, um, into the scope of sanctions. Sanctions do demand unanimity. And each time when Commission presents a proposal to introduce new sanctions, we assess that these sanctions will hurt Russian economy more than it will create difficulties to our economies. This is one of the reasons why instead of proposing sanctions on gas, we have been investing a lot of effort to find alternative supplies. Russia unilaterally cut off uh, gas supplies to European consumers. Despite the fact that uh, many European companies had long-term contracts, Russia tried to manipulate our energy market and as a result our consumers, our households paid for half a year in 2022 very high prices. This was their unilateral action but at the same time they had no alternative supply routes to sell the same gas to other markets because um, even for Russia building um, new gas infrastructure takes time. Now they plan to sell some of this gas in the form of LNG and uh, they have brought online several LNG terminals so um, we can restrict their access to financing and we can restrict their access to technology and we should do so.